Okay, collagen is actually a really great tool to help you achieve a weight loss goal, but you're probably using it wrong. When used the right way, it can help prevent snacking, reduce sugar cravings, and help you achieve a weight loss goal. But when used the wrong way, it can actually do the exact opposite and increase your hunger and work against your weight loss goal, ultimately even causing you to gain weight. So today I'm sharing the biggest collagen mistake that most people are making, as well as how to actually use collagen the right way in order to help you achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance and the biggest collagen mistake that I see people making is that they are using collagen as their main protein source for a meal. I especially see this when people are making like smoothies or chia puddings and they're using collagen powder in their smoothies and they see the 10 or 20 grams of protein on the collagen label and think that they are getting their protein needs by adding in collagen. But it turns out that collagen is not really the protein that you've been led to believe it is. Maybe accidentally. I'm not here to judge but I am here to help bring you back on track with how to actually use it the right way if you choose to use it. So it turns out that collagen is not a complete protein and this is a big deal because high quality complete protein sources are actually the most important macronutrient when it comes to achieving a weight loss goal and more specifically a body recomposition goal, especially if you don't wanna lose muscle mass, lose bone mass or decrease your metabolism while you're losing weight. Complete protein helps to maintain your muscle mass, helps to maintain your bones and helps to maintain your metabolism during the weight loss process. And you need a certain amount every single day day in order to get these benefits from protein. Each person has specific needs. I have a video that breaks down how you can calculate your individual protein needs. I'll have that link down in the description below as well as right up here. But if you're swapping out like 10 or 20 grams worth of complete protein and replacing it with collagen, you're likely going to see the negative effects of not eating enough protein. What happens when you don't get enough protein each day from complete sources is that the body will start to pull the protein that it needs from muscle mass. So yeah, you might still lose weight in the beginning, but a lot of it is going to be coming from muscle. This also has the downstream effect of reducing your metabolic rate, which means that you continuously have to eat less and less and less in order to achieve your weight loss goal and increases insulin resistance. This means that the body doesn't do as well with carbohydrates. So not only can eating not enough protein and swapping that for collagen cause you to decrease your metabolism, but it can also make it so that you aren't able to eat more starchy foods that perhaps you could have in the past. Now, when done properly, you can use collagen with complete protein and it can actually really be a great tool to help you achieve a weight loss goal, but it does need to be done the right way. Otherwise you get all these negative effects. And before we get into that, if you guys are liking this video so far, it would really mean the world to me if you gave this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support the channel and it honestly goes a really long way. Thank you so much and back to the video. Now, if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal and you want to use collagen, it's crucial to be making sure that you are always pairing collagen with a complete protein and not just using collagen instead of that complete protein. So complete proteins are going to be coming from a variety sources like Greek yogurt, eggs, beef, chicken, pork, fish, tempa, even cheese. And studies have found that when you combine those complete proteins, like the ones that I just listed with collagen, it's really effective at reducing your hunger and cravings and ultimately makes it so that the body doesn't need to eat as much later in the day. This makes it so that it's an effective weight loss tool because you get all of the weight loss benefits of protein. Plus you get the extra satiety benefits of collagen, which means it'll just be a lot easier to achieve your weight loss goal because you won't be as hungry or even hungry at all. Now, most people get their collagen from either collagen supplements or from collagen rich proteins. So there are natural proteins that are naturally rich in collagen as well. These would typically be like the meats that you're going to be slow cooking down. So if you're using some of those more tough meats that you have to slow cook, then you're actually probably getting a substantial source of collagen each day along with your complete protein. But if you're using either collagen supplements or even bone broth or bone broth protein, which don't contain the complete protein naturally along with it, then you wanna make sure that you're actively pairing it. And this is how you do it. So if you are using something like a collagen powder and you're putting it in your smoothies, just make sure that in addition to the collagen that you're using, you're also adding in a full serving of complete protein from either like Greek yogurt or another protein powder. I like to do this in my own smoothies where I'll put in my zero sugar protein powder. And if I am going to use collagen, then I'll also add a scoop of that. I know the big question that you guys are gonna ask is, is it possible to have too much protein, especially if you're combining collagen with the complete protein? I also actually broke that down recently in a video. I'll have that up here as well as link down description below. But short answer, probably not. Unless you're eating like a hundred
100 grams of complete protein at each meal, you're still very likely under the threshold of too much protein. Now, if you're using bone broth, some people like to sip on it just as like a side hot drink, which is totally fine. You can still do that, but just don't view that as a replacement for protein. View that as an add-on to a meal. So you can have that warm bone broth on the side of chicken salad that you're eating, or you can make a beef stew with the bone broth. This one's pretty easy to work with as long as you just aren't viewing the bone broth as a meal itself, rather an add-on to whatever meal you're having. In fact, I recently shared a pumpkin sausage pasta recipe using bone broth within the sauce. So it combines those complete proteins with the bone broth. Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, you guys need to try it. Check it out with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.